My name is Karen Fitzgerald. I have been at the Torpedo Factory since 2014 and I'm in Studio 317 on the third floor. I got started as as an artist in the hardest way possible and that I tried every other route. Um, I always did art growing up, but I didn't view it as a viable career option. Um, growing up with a single mom, I definitely didn't want um, to take the starving artist lifestyle on. So despite that being something that I was always interested in, um, I went to school for physics, um, taught for a short while in Africa and Kenya. Um, came back and finished my degree in writing, wanting my work to have something more to do with the lives of the students that I was teaching there. Um, and then I worked for corporation for a while and then nonprofits. And then finally uh, discovered working with recycled materials. And that's when art became something very serious for me where I could see it working as a, as a career. And so, I came to it by failing at everything else. <laughs> yeah, for me, working with recycled materials is all about its context, its place in our lives, um, and working with uh, what really interests me as people and how we move around in the world and the contradictions that are really our daily lives uh, for all of us. So the stuff that we have um, as a byproduct of that moving around in the world is a great way of having discussions about what we want, what we're creating, and what we want to create. So that's what recycled materials do for me. Yeah, so I started out making, using materials, working with single ideas on a single piece. Um, and those pieces were very, very small. <laughs> I started out, you know, with hand sized pieces and now my pieces are very, very large wall sized pieces. So that is definitely one change. Um, and also the subject matter has grown. Um, so right now I'm working on a series of pieces out of encyclopedias looking at um, all the different ways that we share information and how that's changing us and what kind of changes we want and those that we don't. Um, so because that subject is so such a large subject, um, the pieces themselves are very large, and I'm working in large series as opposed to single pieces, so it's just become uh, bigger <laughs> in general. Uh, yeah, my routine right now is largely involving a little girl, a little two-year-old. We wake up very early, 5, 5.30, and uh, my husband wakes up a couple hours before that to get started on work. Um, and we spend a lot of time doing ABCs and one, two, threes and uh, taking walks outside until mid-afternoon when I, my husband and I switch out and then I go into the studio. So the studio is an extra bedroom in the house at the moment. That is a complete mess with the door shut. <laughs> Well, the one I use most often is, uh, and the one people ask about most often, is paper cutter, because people want to know if I'm cutting it by hand, which is kind of a yes, right? A paper cutter is still somewhat cutting by hand. Um, so I use that one a lot. Um, the thing that people are very curious about is resin, which I use a lot of resin. It is not very much fun to work with. I don't very much enjoy the resin part, but because I'm working with recycled materials, uh, it really is a great preservation aspect, aspect to it. And I also love that it finishes it in, in a jewel-like fashion, which highlights uh, really the whole concept of what I'm working toward and some of the ideas that I'm sharing through the material. So it works, but it's messy. And it's, I, I have destroyed many an outfit with it. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's been really kind of Zoom calls and, and online calls with people. 
you know, the truth is that being at home with little girl has really meant that I'm connecting in a very special way that I wasn't able to as often before this. Um, so I've really been soaking that up and not having um, some of the troubles that others have in terms of missing others. Um, it's really been a very close family time for me that I've, that to be honest, I'm a little bit afraid of, of how that goes back together when, when COVID is over, but we'll all figure it out. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess, you know, when I do have people come into the, to the, my studio and ask me about, um, or at least share some of their story, I always tell them to be patient with themselves because uh, becoming an artist, part of what you're doing is speaking to the things in our world that are um, less noticed or less seen or at least less spoken of by others. And it takes a lot of courage and tenacity to be able to do that and usually life will bring you through the ringer in order to to engender that in you so uh just have patience and you'll get there <laughs>